Welcome to Club Academia, where curiosity meets knowledge. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic. Why are gold and platinum more valuable than diamonds? It's a question that has intrigued many, and today, we'll uncover the reasons behind this valuation. To understand the value of gold and platinum, we need to consider their origins. Gold, silver, and platinum are heavy elements, formed in the depths of stars during supernova explosions. This means they cannot be created on Earth. Whatever exists in the Earth's crust is all we have, this inherent scarcity contributes significantly to their value. On the other hand, diamonds present a different story. While natural diamonds are formed deep within the Earth over millions of years, they can also be created in a laboratory setting. This process involves replicating the conditions under which natural diamonds form, allowing scientists to produce diamonds quickly and efficiently. How are diamonds made? There are primarily two methods for creating lab-grown diamonds, high-pressure high-temperature HPHT and chemical vapor deposition CVD. HPHT mimics the natural conditions found in the Earth's mantle. Carbon is subjected to extreme pressure and temperature, resulting in the formation of a diamond. CVD, on the other hand, involves using a gas mixture to deposit carbon onto a substrate, layer by layer, until a diamond crystal forms. In many instances, lab-grown diamonds are better than natural diamonds. They can be produced with fewer impurities and can even be customized for color and clarity. Plus, in most cases, it's nearly impossible to distinguish them from natural diamonds without advanced testing equipment. As lab technology improves, the supply of diamonds is expected to increase significantly. This increase in supply could lead to a decrease in the market value of diamonds. Especially as consumers become more aware of the ethical and environmental implications of lab-grown versus mined diamonds. Now, let's pivot back to gold and platinum. One reason countries hold large reserves of gold is its historical role as a safe haven asset. During economic uncertainty, gold retains its value better than currency, which can fluctuate wildly. This makes gold an essential part of a country's financial strategy. So, which countries have the largest gold reserves? Here are the top seven. One, United States, approximately 8,133.5 tons. Two, Germany, about 3,355.1 tons. Three, Italy, roughly 2,451.8 tons. Four, France, around 2,436 tons. Five, Russia, approximately 2,298.5 tons. Six, China, about 2,068.8 tons. Seven, Switzerland, roughly 1,040 tons. About 244,000 metric tons of gold has been discovered to date 187,000 metric tons historically produced, plus current underground reserves of 57,000 metric tons. Most of that gold has come from just three countries, China, Australia, and South Africa. The United States ranked fourth in gold production in 2016. All of the gold discovered thus far would fit in a cube that is 23 meters wide on every side. Most of the gold that is fabricated today goes into the manufacture of jewelry, but gold is also an essential industrial metal that performs critical functions in computers, communications equipment, spacecraft, jet aircraft engines, and a host of other products. It is believed that there are 80,000 metric tons of platinum on the globe. There have been about 10,000 metric tons of platinum mined since its discovery in 1741. In conclusion, the fundamental difference between gold and platinum compared to diamonds lies in their scarcity and creation process. Gold and platinum are finite resources that cannot be manufactured, while diamonds can be created in labs, making them less scarce and therefore less valuable. Fascinating facts about gold and platinum. 1. Malleability and conductivity. Gold is incredibly malleable. Just one ounce can be stretched into a 50 mile long wire. This property, along with its excellent conductivity, makes it invaluable in electronics, where it's used in connectors and circuit boards. 2. The golden color, the distinctive yellow hue of gold, is a result of its unique atomic structure. Unlike most metals that reflect light, gold absorbs blue light and reflects red and yellow, giving it that iconic golden appearance. 3. Catalytic properties. 
Platinum is a key component in catalytic converters, which are essential for reducing harmful emissions in vehicles. Its ability to withstand high temperatures and resist corrosion makes it ideal for this purpose, significantly contributing to environmental protection. Understanding this distinction not only helps us appreciate these precious materials more deeply, but also gives insight into their roles in our economy and society. We want to hear from you. What do you think about the future of these precious materials? Do you believe gold and platinum will become more valuable than diamonds? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you found this video enlightening, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Club Academia for more intriguing insights into the world of science and technology. Stay tuned for more explorations of the wonders of science and technology. Until next time, keep questioning and stay curious.